In this series, we will start as a level 1, but we're only allowed to play in the infamous Bat Sport Lobby in GTA Online. We will try to acquire wealth on this account in a public lobby with the most toxic players across any game and become the king of the Bat Sport Lobby. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so here's what's going on right now. I've been sitting in this session for maybe like 10 minutes, and right before I did the intro, someone ran me over and then they blew up my personal vehicle. I was like sitting right next to the diamond casino which was kind of stupid but that is where i spawned in after last episode anyways it's already been an eventful start for today so yeah first things first i have to call morris mutual and get my car back so last episode we bought ourselves a cassatka so today in this video we're going to be doing the kyle perico heist for the first time but we're going to do the setups all in a bad sport lobby which i don't think is going to be horrible this first time around because we're not going to have to do the vellum setup because with the vellum setup you're pretty much a sitting duck flying across los santos but it's still probably not going to be a cakewalk today our goal is to try and buy ourselves a bunker. And I want to get a bunker so we can have some sort of passive business so we can potentially do a cell mission later on in this series. So in order for us to buy the bunker, we're going to need $3,403,000. Here, I'll show you the price breakdown. All right, anyways, we're going to be trying to get this one right here, the Chumash bunker. I hear a lot of explosions near me, so I don't know if I'm going to get this across. But anyways, we're going to get the Chumash bunker. It's going to start out at $1,650,000. But then we're also going to put the equipment upgrade and the staff upgrade so this runs pretty efficiently and currently right now i'm sitting on eleven thousand one hundred and thirty seven dollars so yeah we have a long long ways to go before we can actually purchase the bunker but first things first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spin the lucky wheel at the diamond casino hopefully we can get something good like honestly it makes more sense for me to get money than it does for me to get the vehicle the podium vehicle okay please give me something good all right what are we going to get today please just give me something good and we are <laughs> i literally was just saying how i don't really need the vehicle but now i got the vehicle oh look there's confetti falling in the background that's great i got the albany brigham which it's a cool vehicle it's a cool looking vehicle but like it doesn't really help me out a lot i'm not gonna lie see like if i would have gotten the adder which was the podium vehicle for last week then maybe we can have a conversation but the brigham's really not gonna do me anything it just looks cool uh, okay thank you i guess i collected my daily bonus so now i'm at 12k which is nice all right so since i just got this vehicle i might as well use it for right now i'll use it to drive to my cassatka and that's gonna be it <laughs> yeah this car is based upon the vehicle in the ghostbusters which i guess is pretty cool oh my goodness wait hold on 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 please let me drive this please Please, please, can someone be a pal and let me drive this? <gasps> no way. <laughs> Oh my god, thanks. This is so much better than the Albany Brigham. Wow, thanks. Yeah, why wasn't this on the podium vehicle? Yeah, this would have been so much better. This would have been so much better. Maybe Roxo should take ideas from me to put cars in the podium vehicle. Oh, he kicked me out of the vehicle, but I completed that stunt jump. I'm messaging that guy. I'm just telling him I'm not cool, bro, because it wasn't cool. Oh my God, I just realized. I can't become a VIP in this session, and I kind of need to be if I'm going to start up a guy out Barico Eye, so let me try to find a public session where I can actually be a VIP leader. I am realizing, though, with Bad Sport Lobbies, I'm seeing a lot of the same people, and I'm recording this at a different time of the day, too. Like, I'm recording this, like, close to noon. I usually record in the night, and I'm still seeing, like, the same people. All right, and here is our Kasatka. Yeah. Thank you. I understand this is my Kazatka. All right, so now we're pretty much gonna have to sit through a ton of cutscenes. So yeah, let the fun begin with all the cutscenes. All right, got that cutscene done. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start up the Cayo Perico heist. Uh, usually, we're gonna need a $100,000 to actually pay for a setup cost, but since this is the first time, I don't need to do that, which is very nice for me because I am sitting on 12K. So yeah, we can go ahead and gather intel. And usually, it's gonna tell us to go somewhere other than what it's telling us right now. It'll say like Grapeseed, Polito Cove, blah, 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 blah. You get the gist. But for this first one, we have to go meet Dave and Kinsey Music at the LSI private terminal. And this is gonna help us out for us setting this up in a public bad sport lobby because we don't need to do that vellum mission. I'm deathly afraid of the vellum mission. All right, so we've made it to the LSI private terminal. And why did they take off my dunce cap? They'll let me wear it for most of the other cutscenes. They let me wear it during both the silent and sneaky approach and the big con approach, which the big con approach makes absolutely no sense. But now they're not letting me wear it here. Like, come on, game. You got to be a little consistent. You know, if anyone were to wear the dunce cap, it probably should be English Dave right here. He is so annoying. Gotta love how many times he tries to call you. Like, he is the true 
bad sport. Him and Susanta. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They're the bad sport lobby. It's not me and these other guys. All right, so we sat through that cutscene. We're on the island of Cayo Perico now. So since we're on the island, we are pretty much safe from any bad sports. So yeah, as we're doing this gather intel mission, I'm really not going to show you any of this. So I'll see you once we get back onto the island, back where we belong with our subjects in the bad sport lobby. All right, finally, we completed that. All right, so what I'm currently doing right now is I'm actually going to put my Kasatka in a very nice spot for us. I usually don't do this, but I don't want to like try to spawn back inside of my Kasatka because I want to stay in a public session. Did I just beach this thing? How? How is this stuck? Somehow I beached it right here. What? I was going to put it in the little harbor over there, but I guess not. Um, good enough. I'm trying to limit all the swimming I'm going to have to do. But now we're going to get into getting our approach vehicle. And essentially, we are going to get the long fin as our approach vehicle. We're going to be doing this first Kaio Perico High solo. And then hopefully some of the Kaio Perico Highs we do later on in the series, we'll do it with other people. All right, so we're going to be setting up the Kaio Perico Highs. We're going to do the rest of these setups. I'm not going to talk throughout these setups unless if something goes wrong, which I feel confident that something's gonna go wrong i feel like someone's gonna come after me if nothing goes wrong i'll see you when we're ready to do the finale but if something goes wrong you'll be here to watch it okay there's someone after me already they're an rc personal vehicle oh man please don't blow up my truck yeah you can tell there's an rc personal vehicle there's no one in the driver's seat and then that guy just blew up the truck dude i just got that truck Huh? Oh, I thought that was an NPC. I didn't mind an NPC running me over. <laughs> this setup might be the worst setup to do in a bad sport lobby just because I have to go out and collect like a vehicle and bring it back in. So like the vehicle can be blown up in the process, which obviously is not good. It's not what we want. Um, Those was it three people that I think were after me. I don't know where they are anymore, which is like good and bad at the same time. Okay, we have the long fin now. Okay, so now I need to lose the cops. So how I like to lose the cops is maybe drive up to like the intersection right here or something like that. Then we're going to run off to the side. I'm going to drop a grenade down. Then we'll explode. And then when we spawn back in, we don't have the cops. And then we could smoothly deliver the long fin to its location without NPCs coming after me. NPC cops. Now, other players, I can't control that. All right, we've made it back to the docks. And there we go. Heist prep complete. Okay, that was probably the worst prep that I'm going to have to face. I think that's the only setup where someone else can actually blow up what we're trying to get. All right, so I finally completed all the heist prep that I need to do for the Kaya Perico heist. Now, one thing's a little bit unfortunate. For some reason, one of the setups started screwing up. So then I tried to join another session, but I couldn't find a session that allowed me to be a leader. So I had to do all these setups in a private session, which kind of stinks. It's not what this series is about. So instead, I'm going to go back over to a public session. And in turn, I'm going to see if anyone wants to do a Kaya Perico heist. All right, so I asked around. I don't think anyone's joined my Kaya Perico heist. It's so unfortunate. Way to go, bad sports. So yeah, I'll just quickly do this Kaya Perico heist all by myself and then we'll go from there all right so we're gonna do this kaya perico heist uh it's not gonna be anything different i'll just show you exactly what i'm gonna do uh long fin's gonna be our approach vehicle main dock's gonna be our infiltration point our compound entry point is going to be the drainage tunnel escape point doesn't really matter so i'll just pick airstrip you'll see why uh and then we're gonna be doing this in the day because i like seeing and then i just equip suppressors right there and pretty much that is how i'm gonna run the kaya perico heist i've done this so many times so yeah we'll, we'll just do a quick montage of me doing this. All right, so we completed the Kaya Perico heist. We have to go through another cutscene. You know, let's go through this cutscene once. All right, and there we go. Heist pass. Actual take was $1,543,000. I take all that cut, and I was able to complete the elite challenge. So that's going to be another $50,000 added on top of this right here. So we're going to make $1,593,000, but there's going to be a ton of first-time bonuses that we're also going to get once we spawn back into a GTA Online session. Yeah, the Madrazo files pay out very, very well, but you're only going to get the Madrazo files the first time that you do a Kaya Perico heist. Unless if you get a pink diamond, it is not going to be that good. Okay, we've loaded back into our session. And there you go. There you can see all the first time bonuses start reeling in. I'll go over exactly what first time bonuses they get. Or at least I got. So we got this one right here. The Kaya Perico heist. Complete the Kaya Perico heist for the first time for $200,000, which is what we did. Going alone, completed solo for $100,000. We did that. Complete the Kaya Perico heist without ever alerting the guards to earn another 200 k Did that. Then we 
we got this one right here. Complete the Elite Challenge for the Kaya Perigo Heist to earn $200,000. So in total, we made $700,000 worth of first-time bonuses. So now we're sitting on $2,304,000, which is still $1.1 million short for what we need to actually go ahead and buy the bunker. So we still have work to do. All right, so we're back here at my arcade. We're going to set up another Diamond Casino Heist. This is going to be our third one that we're going to do. And we have one final approach that we have to do, which is going to be the aggressive approach, which is the least complicated one. But yeah, I got to set it all up. Let's go check out the vault content. See if I can survive while trying to scoop that out. Oh, uh no 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 why i just drove right past you and he just started sending missiles why is everyone running around in like a torador or something i don't know man hmm this looks interesting a torador out here can i drive this oh my god i could oh no i can't get in the back never mind never mind that guy's a loser where his vehicle that is you should let me drive anyways we finally made it to the diamond casino <laughs> so yeah now we still need to find our vault content i would like something other than cash we've gotten cash the first two times but the first time it was guaranteed that we were gonna get cash but the second one we had a one out of three chance to get it and we still got it let's change it up here please all right what are we getting what are we getting anything other than cash please what is this what is this dude another cash dude i don't know like the exact odds on all this but my goodness yeah this is the last diamond casino heist i can do before i can actually like reset it hopefully down the line if we get cash again i can just reset it to gold or artwork or just anything other than cash should be great now, was that necessary? <laughs> I just like to get out of here. <laughs> I really would. Bro, why is someone just camping outside of my arcade with an oppressor? Hmm. hmm. I want to take a look at this. I want to take a look at this for myself. Why is he just camping outside of here? Bro, why is everyone like setting up sticky bomb slash proximity mine traps on me? I just want to do my heist. Okay, okay. Now he's running. Scared. <laughs> Why is this person like right next to me? You see that guy on the map? I think he thinks I'm on the bridge, even though I'm underground. Why do you care? <laughs> Let me be, please. I'm gonna go in my arcade and I'm just gonna assume that he's gonna put down a sticky bomb slash proximity mine trap and then he's gonna just destroy me. All right, so now we need to select our approach. And this time around, I wanna do the aggressive approach. I mean, we could do the big con approach again and it'll be technically on hard, which that'll give us a little bit more money. But I wanna do it on aggressive because we need to complete all three of these approaches so then we can actually reset our heist if we get just cash over and over again. So yeah, we're going to do aggressive. Well, I just realized, I mean, we only have two options for our gunman. I mean, anyways, we're going to pick Carl because why not? A uh, driver, it still doesn't matter. We're going to pick the worst one. And then hacker, we're still going to go with Christian Felt. I'm really liking Christian Felt, but this is going to be a little bit different, the hacking, or at least how much time we have in the vault, just because we're going to have less time in the vault. But uh, yeah, we're still going to go with Christian Felt. Now we got to pick our weapon loader. We can do a shotgun loadout or a revolver revolver loadout mm, see this is my thing like shotgun's good and uh, this is a sawed off shotgun i think the shotgun's good but like the revolver has a little bit more range i might just go revolver here yeah this is the one time where we actually kind of have to pay attention to our loadout but i'm gonna go revolver so we're gonna start this up and i assume we're gonna die to proximity mines once again oh no okay never mind never mind okay we're good so yeah once again we're gonna try to set up this diamond casino heist if anything really goes wrong you'll see and oh my this is such a terrible one one. Everything's in Blaine County. Oh my God, that was the weapons. Dude, that was the first one that we did. Okay, huge. That is a time saver. Problem is that the entire LSPD is out here. All right, just get in the van, please. Thanks. Oh yeah, this is a setup where we really can't have any of these vehicles blow up because we're trying to get our getaway vehicles. Yeah, if one vehicle blows up, then the entire setup fails. Then we have to do it all over again, even if we deliver one vehicle. Oh God, there's someone right outside. There's someone right outside. And there's a Deluxo this way. No, no. Why is there a sticky bomb in the tunnel? <laughs> Did you see? Hold on, hold on, I'll show y'all. There's literally a sticky bomb in this tunnel. Like, why? Like, why did someone waste their time and do that? I guess it was somewhat smart because I almost ran into it. Okay, yeah, there's someone after me. There's someone after me. There's someone after me. We need to go. We need to go now. Yeah, he's tailing me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm going to be able to definitely get this one in. There we go. Okay, we got one in. We got one. <laughs> I just need the other one. If we can get the other one, then the rest of the setups aren't bad. Did you really have to send like four? You literally sent four. Okay, yeah, this is the point. I definitely needed a Monty Tech vehicle. I'm recording this before even the first episode has come out, so I'm sure y'all are yelling at me to get an Amani Tech vehicle. I don't know why I'm starting to only realize it now, but yeah, we'll get an Amani Tech vehicle. I'll try to do it next episode. Oh yeah, and also with the Amani Tech vehicle, we're not gonna get the Ocelot Virtue by doing the first and last those missions. We're not gonna do that because that's technically a free Amani Tech vehicle, and then we, all we have to do is just put the upgrades on it. We're not. 
going to do that just because it's kind of pointless for this series. We're trying to be the king of bad sport lobby, which if we're doing a mission like that, then it doesn't make sense for the king of bad sport. See, that's why I'm trying to stay away from some stuff. I was planning on staying away from the agency, but now I'm really starting to realize I need to get an Amani tech vehicle. I mean, a Sparrow would be nice also, but the problem with the Sparrow is that one shot and we're dead. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'd use the Sparrow as more of like an offensive vehicle. I got to think things through for how I want to like go about the rest of the series. We're going to need an Amani tech vehicle for sure. Okay, but to finish this setup, I just ran on foot away from the cops. I parked my getaway vehicle just right in front of the door. So yeah, there we go. We delivered it. Huge. Man, dude, I'm trying to ask people to help me out with this heist because we're about to get into a very tough setup. And our friend that we made first episode said not right now, which is fine. And then this guy said he wants 85%. Dude, no, I'll give you 30. <laughs> I'll give you 30. Bro, he wants 85%. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, by the way, it's a new day and we're about to get into probably the most annoying setup out of any Diamond Casino heist. And I would really like one more person to help me out. He said 85 or I'm not going to help. Dude, should I scam him? I think I'm actually considering scamming him, Loki. Like, should I get him to help me with the setups? No, no, I'm too good of a person for that. I'm too much of an upstanding citizen. All right, so anyways, the setup I was talking about is the Bolt Explosion setup and you'll see why so yeah pretty much what we have to do is we have to go out to sea and then we have to go collect two vault explosives that are just underwater yeah this one's in the alamo sea which i don't think this one's that bad in this location why well, I, I get it 85 or i'm not going to help you know i'll troll him hold on dude i'm gonna be such a troll for a second you want me to get 85 percent? because yeah 85 percent. that's the default as a leader dude what if he responds back and he's like yeah that's what i've been trying to tell you this entire time or what if he's like oh you're not giving me 85 percent he gets out of passive mode. It's this guy right here who's stuck in passive mode. He gets out of passive mode and absolutely just makes my life miserable. Oh yeah, there's also one other setup that I kind of would like someone else to help me out with, even though I don't necessarily need them to. It's the Duggan Shipments one. I can't really do it right now, or at least effectively, because I don't have a Sparrow, which that would be really nice. I don't have an Oppressor Mark II. I don't have any like fast vehicle with weapons on it. So instead of getting 10 out of 10 Duggan Shipments destroyed, I can maybe get like, I don't know, I'm going to project six if I do it in my current state right now. We've made it over to the location where we need to get the Volt Explosives. I don't have any suppressed weapons, so I'm gonna have to do this a little louder than I would prefer to, because now we're gonna piss off a lot of people. Now there's a helicopter after me, too. We took out everyone first attempt. Now what we need to do is we need to go over here. We need to grab a rebreather or a scuba gear. That's what I meant. Now I have to go search the wreckage for Volt Explosives. Oh, I completed a challenge. Go scuba diving. That was a challenge for today. Oh, dude, and there's a helicopter out here. They're just gonna shoot at me. Wow. Why? Dude, hey, okay, this location is a little annoying because the water is so murky. Is this a thing I can get? No. It's so dark. The water is murky. We're doing this at what? Oh, I can't pull out my phone. Duh. I just heard an explosion in front of me. Oh, oh, there's a Raiju after me. Nice. Mom Boinker 4215. Thank you. Okay. Wait, is that guy helping me? I'm so lost right now. Bro, is this guy really like camping me or is he trying to help me out? Because that thought just came through my head. Maybe he's a pal. Huh? He's in the water with me. Dude, I don't know, man. People are shooting at me. The helicopters. There's three helicopters outside. Oh, good. My lung capacity is increasing. That's great. I have scuba gear, so that doesn't matter. Okay, now, is this guy going to come after me? This mom boinker. Oh, he's trying to throw explosives in my direction. I don't know if it's directly at me or not. I would just like to get out of here. I'm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, helicopters. Y'all are very good. And that mom boinker is destroying helicopters around me. I don't know if... They Thanks. Already the most annoying setup in the game. And now it's going to be even more annoying. Great. Thank you. I need your car. I need your car. That's not how you give me your car. Car. Donate. Donate. That's a funny way of donating. Wow, you're not charitable, are you? A sparrow? He's going to come after me in a sparrow. If I could just borrow your sparrow, that'd be great. going to borrow the... Oh my god, I almost killed him. Oh, that guy's like getting away. Oh, okay, okay. The guy is decently far away, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to get the heck out of here. Yeah, this is where it'd be nice to have an Amani Tech vehicle, but I've made some slight errors in my calculations on how to make this series a little bit more doable for myself. So I have to suffer the consequences of my own actions. Okay, anyways, we've made it back so we can deliver our first vault explosive. Very nice. But there's still one more in the bottom of the ocean. Sea, it's a sea. So let me go see. 
we can go get that one. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's try this again. I like doing it the first time so much, I had to come back and do it again for a second time. Oh, is that it right there? Please tell me that's it. Yes! A game! I just swam right through it. Oh my god, and then my arm barely grazed it right there, but then you're like, oh wow, that's acceptable. The consistency. All right, so now we're back into my vehicle. Uh, there's one helicopter above me, and I shot out the gunner, so we should quite literally have a very, very easy time making it back to the arcade. All right, so that's all the mandatory preps that we have to do, but I'm going to do three more. I'm gonna go ahead and not do reinforced armor, but I'm gonna do the boring machine. I'm gonna get the level two security pass, and we're gonna finish off by trying to get all the dug-in shipments i'm hoping i don't need need reinforced armor but i don't know first things first so we're gonna do the boring machine this one's gonna be pretty boring you know like actually though it's gonna be kind of boring so yeah i probably won't talk too much throughout this one or the security pass one unless there's something crazy happens which very likely since we're in a bad sport lobby all right so we've done all of those setups so our final setup that we have to do is going to be the duggan shipments one because this is the one time duggan shipments actually kind of matter since we're doing this the aggressive approach so we're gonna start this right now and and as soon as we load in, we have a 10 minute timer. This one's gonna be the most important one. Or I don't know about most important, but this is very important. The more Duggan shipments we can take out, the easier it is to actually kill these guards once we get inside the casino. So this is very important. And it's not good that we're crashing into things. Oh, I just realized too. Oh, I just realized there's gonna be some that are in helicopters. How am I gonna take out something that's in a helicopter? Wait, hold on. There's nine shipments remaining. I thought we started out with 10. Did someone in the public session just take them out for me? I really appreciate it if that's what they did. All right, here's the Duggan shipment right here. Uh, from downtown? Oh, I missed. No, oh, they're getting off on the exit. Jeez. Here, hold that for me. Ready, set. Okay, I died and they didn't die. That is not a good combination. Bro, why are y'all getting out and shooting me? Can y'all drive to me and then shoot me? Hold that. There we go. One down. One that I actually took down. Eight more to go somehow. I don't know. This is a little annoying. A lot of this stuff is kind of in the Sandy Shores area, which is not really good. There's usually more that are in the Los Santos area. Is this a boat that's beached? Is this supposed to be like that? I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not, but I don't care. Three down. Seven more to go, but we have six minutes. Yeah, I don't expect us to complete it, but hey, so let's see how far we can get. I think it took five, so... Okay, let me get into my car. Blow it up. Are you kidding me? Die. Thank you. Another one down. All right, finally made it over to this location. And oh, y'all are so funny. Here, oh, that's a Molotov cocktail. Wait, that worked using a Molotov cocktail, but not five sticky bombs? Game. Wait, wait, no, no, we didn't get that one. Someone else took out that one. Uh, I, okay, okay, I was about to say. All right, just another shipment got destroyed. So this one is still alive right now, at least. There we go. All right, another one down. Uh, we have a minute and 30 seconds. Try to get one more. We're decently close. Close to another one, but we're gonna have to book it. I hope it's like a boat. If it's a boat, I can probably get it. If it's gonna be another one of those armored vehicles, then it's gonna be tough. Bro, I have 30 seconds to somehow get there and explode it. I don't think it's gonna be possible. We have 10 seconds, roughly. Five, four, three, two, one. Yep, we're not gonna get it. It's literally right here. Oh, whatever. We had six out of 10, when really we only got four out of 10, but somehow two other ones perished. Okay, okay, I get there's a king of the castle, like little event going on right now, but I'm the king. Why are they trying to act like someone else is the king? Ah, uh -uh, I'm the king. No, 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 no. There does not need to be a king of the castle. There's already a king. I need an apology game. What the heck is that bull crap? No, I'm king. Anyways, we ourselves destroyed four out of 10, and then I think maybe two people just from the session destroyed some of the other ones, I'm assuming. So that's going to make it a little bit easier, but still not ideal. If we had a sparrow, probably could have gotten 10 out of 10. I think I can get 10 out of 10 with a sparrow. But yeah, that's going to be our final setup that we need to do. So we're going to get ready to do our aggressive approach for the Diamond Casino heist. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wow. I've been asking a ton of people if they want to help me out with this heist. And this guy said, yee. All right. So I think we got someone. It's been a little bit. I've been asking around, but yeah, let's go invite that guy. <laughs> let's do this heist. I need this guy. Oh, what a cool outfit. That's a cool outfit. Bro, this guy sucks. He has a negative. Okay. Let's see. He has a negative 2,147,474,000 and 48 KD ratio. God, this guy's crap. 
Okay, this guy's not joining. Okay, never mind. Maybe he's so bad with his KD ratio, he doesn't know how to freaking join. Dude, I'm just gonna spam everyone in this session, see if anyone wants to join my heist. Literally everyone that I can message, I'm going to send them a message. If you don't exit out your phone, you can just send it to as many people as you want. The same message. Huge. Oh, 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 Doge player. Okay, Doge player. I got you, Doge player. All right, all right, we got someone. We got someone. Okay, wow, it has been a little bit. I've been asking around. Hopefully this guy's not trolling like the other guy. Oh, he's off the radar. You don't have to be off the radar when you join a heist. <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> the guy that we tried to invite earlier, he's being voted to kick. <laughs> oh, he's joining. Yes. Let's go. Huge. Huge. Thank you. Yes. Bro, he would take 15%. No, I'm giving you 30%. No, 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 no. I'll take care of you as much as I can. Oh, yeah. Since we're doing this way, we're going to go through the sewers. It'll be a little easier. We're going to exit via the staff lobby. Buyer, we're going to do high level buyer. Honestly, if we wanted to get the elite challenge for this, we probably shouldn't go through the sewers because we're going to be dealing with less people, but I don't really care. Let's just get this done. Bro, why is my guy wearing a Rolex during a freaking shootout? Dude, do you see that? On my left wrist. <laughs> Iced out. King of the bad sport lobby. I a rolly on my wrist as I'm going to rob a diamond casino. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The diamond casino heist, the aggressive approach. Okay, a little disappointing right now. We do not have our dunce caps on. If I'm thinking correctly, the only way we can really get our dunce caps on is if we like fail the heist because I think that's how it worked last time. All right, anyways, instead of going to the casino, we're going to be going down here. So yeah, we need to go to the sewer tunnel. This is the reason why you should look up when you do your first scope out mission for the diamond casino this is why you should look up all the points of interest because one of the entrance points is this sewer all the way down here and this is going to be the best way we can actually do the aggressive approach for the diamond casino heist even though honestly after some of these setups i prefer not to do the aggressive approach again oh yes there we go dunce caps on huge all right let's go let's go bad sport time all right here we go plant explosives on the breach point i got it i got it I, you know why because i'm a bad sport wearing a rolex on my left wrist all right, let's plant an explosive down. All right, here we go. It's about to be time. All right, yeah, here we go. We, we put a little hole into the wall, but everything collapses behind us. Coincidentally. Thanks, game. All right, here we go. Let the fun begin. We start down here in the basement already. So yeah, we have the heavy revolvers. I like shooting a heavy revolver. It's kind of nice shooting a heavy revolver. Something satisfying about hitting a headshot. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We can't. Dude, I'm getting shot. Hurry up. There's one. Go. Huge. Eat snacks. Eat snacks. I need to eat snacks. I need to eat snacks. Okay, I ate snacks. Yeah, good thing I picked up snacks before this. This is like the only casino heist approach where we're gonna need snacks. Unless you're stupid and do it the wrong way for the big con and silent and sneaky approach. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully we get good spawns of where everything is gonna be at. Alright, so we have to put down these vault explosives that we found in the bottom of the ocean. So stupid. Alright, so we have to back away from it and then we have to click the detonate bomb button and wha-bam! Alright, so now we need to go ahead and grab the loot. We only have two minutes, so so our payout's probably not going to be great. Now, we could stay a little bit longer if we want, you know. Like, the other two approaches, we want to make it out before the time expires so we don't raise the alarms. The alarms are already going off for this approach, so we could stay back if we really want to and get a little bit more cash. But I think we got some good spawn locations for the cash, though, because there's a lot that's not behind a hack wall. Okay, no, okay. Where I'm grabbing now and where my teammate is grabbing, these are, like, the only spots that don't need to be hacked through which kind of oh i'm being stupid dr crush be smart please you don't have to hack in during the aggressive approach gosh a bunch of y'all are probably like yelling at me in the comment section right now i deserve it deserve it being stupid all right anyways yeah we have like two explosives right yeah we get like two yeah you can put like an explosive down okay my teammates kind of like being a little interesting right now okay my teammates already getting out i want to be greedy and get some more cash so yeah this gas is going to eat away at my health i'm going to pay attention to my health okay that's good enough it gets more intense the gas yeah not a good payout i forgot what our payouts were for the last two but i don't think it was anywhere close to 1 million and every shot that we eat our potential take is going to go down so we want to make sure we don't get hit but that's going to be inevitable the way we're doing this yeah this is definitely the easiest way to do this heist the other two ways are a little bit complicated this way is not complicated at all you just shoot but the problem with this is you don't get enough time in the vault and every time you get shot your take is 
going to go down. So there's some pros and cons to this one. Bro, load in. I went in the elevator. Now we're stuck. We're stuck in the elevator. We're stuck in the loading screen of the elevator. Bro, why did the elevator break? Come on, game. Oh my God, dude. You're pissing me off, game. Why are we stuck in an elevator? Well, this sucks. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave. Wow, 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 game. Wow, nice. All right, we got to do this over again. Sucks. Hopefully we can get a little bit more money now that I realize we don't have to hack. We can just go ahead and just blow up the thing because I think towards the end, my teammate didn't collect any more cash with like, I don't know, 30 seconds to go. Hopefully with my better knowledge of what's going on here, it'll be a little different. All right, let me go blow up the wall again. I guess they already filled it back in with some nice concrete right there and even some rebar. Wow, they even stretched the wire through it. Wow, that's cool. I just blew it right up again. Okay, one good thing is that these guards, they do not have helmets. I think I did enough dug and ship. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't die that quickly last. I didn't die at all last time. What the heck? What is this scam? Oh, there goes my teammate. Nice. Way to go, game. Way to go. On our second attempt, uh, you make the guard just a little bit better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Way to go, game. Uh-uh. Stupid. All right, we're about to blow up the door once again. We've finally made it through. Well, bam. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start planting thermal charges so we can actually make it through the gate. I think we have two thermal charges each. Let me start collecting the cash. Game! Game! You're being stupid. Oh, my God. I was just running around it for like five seconds. No, like 10. Uh-uh, I haven't even collected anything yet. Stupid. You're costing me time. Written apology. Now. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. You're costing me money. Ah, damn it, game. That, no, that pisses me off. Nah, -uh. it's just stupid. Just running around the table. You think I run around the table for the fun of running around the table? No, I want to collect the stuff on the table. Stupid. Pit. Dude, our tank is going to be so much less than last time. Yeah, the spawns that we got last time were so much better than this time. Dude, this sucks. We're going to have to leave. Wow, the game's really going to screw me over like this. Just dumb. Incredibly dumb, dude. Yeah, luckily, with this being our last approach that we haven't done, we're going to get a good first time bonus. But god damn it, dude. We were at 1.25 million last time. Now we're at 1.05 million. Just stupid. Now we got to survive getting out of here, too. Yeah, this has not been going good. Okay, we're moving. We're moving. We're not going to use the elevator this time around. We're going to be using the stairs. Or I am. Okay, my teammate actually was able to make it up the elevator. Dude, how many guards are right here? What the heck? Oh, wait, where's my teammate? I don't even know where my teammate is. Our oh, teammate went the other way around. Oh my god, we're under a million dollars now. <laughs> this has been so bad, dude. We finally made it to the staff door. Yeah, this is... Oh my god, it's been so bad. Yeah, we are not doing another aggressive approach after this. I wanted to do the aggressive approach just to get the first time bonus, but then also to have the ability to actually, like, reset that uh what we're gonna get as our primary target because we kind of had some issues with that you know what well, we're getting is cash you know there's other things in the world other than cash game and you're like no dr crutch please take our cash take the cash I'm like no stop be gold or even artwork i'll stare at a pretty painting if i have to anything but cash but no they're like no please take the cash stupid game god look at all these people we have to take out it's next hey when I hold down the LB button to go up on the D-pad, that is called eating snacks. That is not me just sitting there dying. Uh-uh, that is not the die button. I don't think there's a die button in GTA Online. No, 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 no. You did not let me eat snacks. Add that to the written apology. It's stupid. Stupid. Yeah, we are not doing another aggressive approach. I'll do a silent sneaky again, even though that's a lot more complicated than this. We'll actually have opportunity to get more than a million dollars and maybe something other than cash. Game? We got the bad car spawn again. They keep giving me the spawn location. For the car. It's kind of disrespectful. They keep slapping me upside the head with all these spawn locations, all these like stupid things that are going wrong. Keep giving me cash. Like, come on. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Anyways, we finally made it to a car. Get in. 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 Nice. Okay. Yeah. And then let's just saying, oh, we could use a decoy right here. You know what we could use? We could use some more money. God dang it. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. It's being stupid. My bad. God dang it. Just me being dumb. That's just stupid. That was just dumb on me. God dang it, dude. I gotta be able to maneuver around that freaking cop car. I thought I could squeeze in right there, and then he freaking boxed me out. Dumb. That was just dumb on me. Stop shooting at me. Y'all really need to stop. How? 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 
Ow! 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 No, 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 That was dumb. There's no way I died that quickly. I've never died that quickly at that one spot. No, 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 no. You gotta make a game. You gotta make it consistent. You can't make a game that's inconsistent. Usually, if I'm yelling like this, oh, my teammate died. Usually, if I'm yelling like this, it's usually because my teammate sucked. This teammate's done nothing wrong. Really. This teammate's fine. The game is screwing us over for no reason. There's no reason whatsoever. Giving me cash. Give me terrible spawn locations. Killing me within one second. Yeah, like stupid, stupid stuff. It's so tough to get someone in a bad sport lobby to join a heist. Then once you finally do, then the game's like, oh, let's make it ten times harder. I'm going through all this crap to try to get a bunker. The problem is we're not even going to use a bunker. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I'm going to have to drive. Uh-oh. Where are you going? Oh, is my teammate going to take this route instead of the helicopter? Which I'm cool. If he wants to go this way, I'm cool with it at this point. I don't care. Yeah, okay. He's going to go in the sewer tunnel. All right. He's going to lose the cops that way. This is what my teammates do. And please do not yell at me, all you Diamond Casino Heist nerds. Oh, this isn't the best way to do it. I, my teammate went down here. Calm down. It's still a great way to lose the cops. So yeah, pretty much at this point, we're just going to chill down here, lose the cops. Then once we lose the cops, we'll just have a nice smooth drive all the way up to the fire. Oh, I don't think this guy wants to drive anymore. He's like, all right, all right, yeah, I'll get in your car now. All right, so yeah, all we have to do now is just drive to the fire. How do we have the cops? What? Oh, it's probably, God damn it. I think that's probably my fault. I think I got a little too close to the Diamond Casino with that exit. That is so stupid. Now I gotta find a tunnel. I gotta find the tunnel. That sucks. I like the game's like, oh, 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 you got within like a half mile of the casino. Ah, look, everyone knows where you're at now. The heck? Way to go game. Pissing me off. He says, how the F? I have a theory. That's because I got a little too close to the casino, even though we weren't that close. Okay, I'm doing good avoiding cops right now somehow. Yeah, I was going to hit the train tracks here, and then we're just going to run straight to the tunnels and hope a train doesn't run us over. Just imagine all this for us to die because a train runs into us and kills us. Like, oh, I would be livid. Oh, y'all would probably love to see that, actually, because I would freaking lose my mind. Okay, we lost the cops again. And what? We probably lost like $30,000 from that. But I also lost my temper because of that. And that's the more important thing here. Not the 30K. My temper. All right, we made it. What is this guy doing? Oh, I want to run over that guy in the ATV, dude. Yep, not doing an aggressive approach ever again for this series. Dumb, 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 dumb. There we go. Heist pass. Not great, though. Platinum. No one deserves platinum here. You know who deserves platinum? The game for absolutely screwing me over because they did a great job of that. Got $702,000 is going to be split. So I get $491,000. Yikes. But okay, we will get, I think, $400 thousand dollars worth of a first time bonus because i think we get one hundred thousand dollars for doing the aggressive approach for the first time and then i think we get three hundred thousand dollars for doing all the approaches for the first time that's what we just completed the final approach that we hadn't done all right we're loading back in there we go three hundred i assume we got another one hundred thousand dollars mixed in there too all right so now we're sitting on two million nine hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars we need roughly four hundred thousand dollars to actually go ahead and purchase the bunker that we want to get. So yeah, I have a few more things that I can do, but oh my God, I believe I still have more work to do, which I really shouldn't have this much work to do to get more money if the game didn't screw me over. All right, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and do a stash house and we're going to get 30K from this. We get us a little bit closer. Okay, there we go. We stole some safe contents. Let's get out of here. Let's go make some money. All right, and there we go. Stash house has been successfully raided. Another challenge complete. Okay, what is my final challenge? We've gotten two challenges today. Daily challenges. Participate in a featured series. Okay, never mind. I can't do that. We're in a bat sport lobby, and no one in a bat sport lobby is going to want to do the featured series. All right, I'm at the Diamond Casino once again. Uh, I just robbed this place, but it felt more like I was robbed. But it's okay. All right, what are you going to give me? Another car? That'd be so funny. Ha 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 ha. Please. I need money. Just, I need money. Okay, no vehicle. Good. Keep going. Get 30K. Get 30K. Game. No. What am I supposed to say? Oh my God. Wow. I really wanted to go from level 23 to 24. God damn it, dude. 30k would have been so much better for me, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Can I get in your car? Can you like drive me somewhere? Just take me over to the HSW time trial. <laughs> I would like to get this video over with. This has been taking way too long. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little pissed. I just don't need to get $400,000. What, you gonna kick me from your vehicle again? Stop kicking me from the vehicle. What is your problem, dude? Okay, no, no, no. no. You're pissing me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boost away, dork. Ah, damn it, dude. Ah, what is...
Stop! Please! I need to do something. Ah, damn it, dude. I just need to do something. Don't explode the vehicle. I was just saying it. Oh my god. I just would like to do an HW time trial. And that's it. That's it. Nothing complicated here. No way that explosion was close enough to set this car on fire. Dude, I just need to go a mile. Just let me go a mile. Oh, and by the way, I know y'all are probably thinking, oh, just freaking take your HSW. Are you kidding me? That one explosion got two kills on me. That person did not go out of their way to blow me up again. I can assure you that. That was still from that one explosion. This is how bad today's going. I am so close to the HSW time trial. Just let me do it. So let me go ahead and let me do this time trial. All right, finally, I have a fresh Sentinel XS. So we can go ahead and do this HSW time trial. And this specific HSW time trial is probably, I would say my second least favorite one because we have to go roughly six miles and we have to do it in four minutes. But we're we're taking the Sentinel XS, so, you know, not the most ideal thing in the world. Please let me do the freaking thing! Please! No! I just called that vehicle back in! Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think he's done coming after me, but can I ever be so confident in that statement? Okay. Here's my Sentinel XS. Again, the thing is with this HSW time trial, once we start it up, we're passive. We go into passive mode, technically. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Now we're invisible from the bullies in this session. We are going to go ahead and we're going to complete this. We're going to complete it. First attempt. Oh my God. I'm forgetting the ways to go. Jeez, that was embarrassing. That was an embarrassing start. But yeah, let's have a clean first attempt. Let's complete this first attempt so we can hurry up and do some other stuff. Yeah, I think I have completed this specific time trial with the Sentinel XS. It took me a while. It really did take me a while. So yeah, this is not going to be fun. And it was a non-customized Sentinel XS, you know, just turned into an HSW vehicle. But so far, since that kind of ugly start, it's been going pretty good so far. And once we get on the interstate, it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I screwed that up. I wonder if there is actually a way to grease someone while they're doing a time trial. Like, what if you just set up like a wall full of buses, like in the middle of the interstate or something like that, but you're not in one of the buses? Like, could that actually work to grease someone while doing HSW time trial? Probably. Um, Please, no one in this session get any ideas. Oh my God, dude, this is gonna be so close. Uh, once we get across this bridge, it's gonna get a lot easier. Oh God, I took that turn weird. Okay, go, just go, 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 go. Go, go, go. 5, 56, 57, 58. I hate my life. God damn it, dude. Oh, that was so good. That was such a good, like, first clean attempt. It was just this beginning part, and then me getting on the interstate is really the only part I feel like I could have improved on. That sucks. I thought I did so good there. Uh oh, land it, land it. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Not a bad start. Uh, let's just continue having a smooth run. Let's get on the interstate cleanly, and then I think we should be able to complete it. But traffic better not run into me. That's another thing with this specific time trial. Traffic is a little annoying until we get on the interstate. Stop car! My God! No, no, that was stupid, stupid car. Yeah, I did this time trial like a few days ago with an Akachu Drag. Completely different ball game. I think I even wrecked with the Akachu Drag, and I still beat it with like a minute to go. And now we have a freaking fifty thousand dollar HSW vehicle. Yeah, it's a little different ball game here. <laughs> See, this time there's no car in the way, so I can take that turn fast. Didn't even touch the brake. Uh oh, oh my god. Yep, yep, I saw that. I saw that car. Oh, let me merge into this lane. Stop, stop. You did. No, stop, stop, stop. What do you think I think when I see that game? Do you think, like, oh, wow, wow. I need to be more aware of that car trying to merge into my lane? No. No, oh, no, 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 no. That one was dumb. That one was dumb. No. That, that was the blockade. They literally put a blockade up. Like, you shall not pass. Like, please, let me do my time trial, game. Don't piss me off anymore. More. Add it to the written apology list. All right, we're back here again. Uh, all right, let's just get on the bridge smoothly. Good. All right, yeah, we're going to complete it this time. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's $253,000 in my bank account. All right, but now we're sitting on $3,282,000. Okay, we need like 120000 more dollars. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to do something that's a little annoying. But I'm kind of running out of options here. I'm going to do the 
Alice tourist board again. Coyote, mountain lion, hen. I hate getting a hen. Dude, okay. Coyote, there's so many coyotes around. Uh, I have a good spawn location in mind of where a mountain lion is, so I'm comfortable with those two. It's just the hen. The hens piss me off, dude. Like, the only spot I can get a hen to spawn in is in Polito Bay, which is so fr- Coyote! Hold on. Bang! Right there. Good. Yes, there we go. There we go. One. One down. Let me go find a mountain lion. I have a spawn location. I don't know if I made it clear where the spawn location is, but I'll show you guys. All right, here's my spawn location for a mountain lion. It's over here by uh, Stab City. So you have Stab City right here. Then there's a mountain lion. And what I like to do is, like, piss it off. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, attack me. Mountain lion. No, 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 no. No, get pissed at me. No, I need you to get pissed at me. Where did you go? Oh, did I just spook the mountain lion? What kind of predator are you? I, this just disappeared. <sighs> it's been one of those days. Usually the mountain lion likes to attack me. Not this time. I'm going to drive away. I'll come back and hopefully another one will spawn in. All right, let's come back around. Come on. There we go. Mountain lion. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's piss it off. Let's piss it off, all right? Hey, look. Yeah, yeah. I see you turning around. Yeah, run at me. Run at me. No, no. What kind of predator are you? You're the worst predator predator out there what is no 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 you're pissing me off no no you don't get to live no here tourist board take this this is your predator for you yeah, i know that's not gonna work but god damn it dude yeah, i think it was because a car almost ran it over like oh my god i'm scared of cars like you're a mountain lion you're like the biggest predator in the game and then they're like oh i'm scared freaking losers why is this car driving my way you better not spook my mountain lion mountain lion get pissed at me getting so Pissed. Mound lions are so scared. Let me guess. You're gonna run into me. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, that guy is so funny, man. Like, jeez. Like, that guy must be like freaking Matt Rife. He's like that funny, dude. Wow. All right, we're parking the car here. We're parking the car here. We're gonna get out. We're gonna run. We're gonna run to this mound line. Aha! I see you. Yeah. Ra 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 ra. There you go. There you go. Got it. I got it. I got it. You can eat me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm a big predator. You ran away from me like five times, dork. All right. I got what I needed. It's fine. I respawn in. So do you. But it's the world we live in. There we go. Mountain lion down. No, you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off, comedian. Come here, comedian. Ha 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 ha. You know what's funnier than what you did? <laughs> I'm the king! Wow, wow, wow. Nice shots. Yeah. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Okay? Ha 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 ha. You drove in the water, tried to kill me. Ha ha. You're so funny. Ha ha. I'm the jokester. I'm the jokester. I'm the king. I'm the king. All right. Um, there's like a spot over here where hens spawn in. I gotta remember exactly where it is. Oh, this guy's having a nice barbecue. What time is it? Oh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. You're safe to have a barbecue. I thought it was still morning. I see hens. Good. Yeah, this is like the guaranteed spot to get a hen to spawn in. But they're running away, though. Come here. Okay, got it. There we go. That's $100,000 in my bank account. So now we're sitting on $3,371,000. Good. Really, really, really. Uh, <laughs> the comedian strikes again. I had a feeling like, what the heck is that guy? I don't get mugs very often. Yeah, I have no cash, so that was pointless. Uh, I still need to get like 50K more. Where's the bike time trial? Oh my, it's Mount Gordo. The most useless point in GTA. Mount Gordo. Like, why was that coded into the game? Mount Gordo. Who thought it was a good idea to code in Mount Gordo? Someone actually sat there and they were like, oh wow, would you like to put in another mountain next to Mount Chiliad, but it's not as big and not Nothing happens there. And then everyone was like, yeah, let's put it in Mount Gordo. This is the most pointless spot in GTA. Nothing happens in Mount Gordo. And then someone's probably going to comment, oh, there's that one ghost that spawns up there. Wow. That's so cool, right? <laughs> it's a ghost. Who cares? Sorry, that's my Mount Gordo rant. Oh my God. Please, Sentinel XS, get up this mountain. I do not want to have to drive down. Yes. Yes. You know, good enough. Good enough. That's a good enough spot to park. I don't think my car can make it any further. <laughs> good enough. See, it's, it's just pointless Mount Gordo. Oh, but Mount Gordo has this cell tower on top of it. Wow. Come on, people. It's Mount Gordo. Like, even Polito Bay has more of a use than Mount Gordo. Granted, that's actually a community, but still. Anyways, we have to do a junk energy time trial here. Then once we do this, we should have enough money. There's a guy in a jet coming after me. Luckily, I'm in passive mode. I'm pretty sure when I'm doing these time trials, it's probably that comedian again. Yeah, no, it's definitely 
that comedian. <laughs> That's the guy. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Got that done, first attempt. Let me make sure to deposit my money just in case if some dork wants to mug me again. I'm sitting on $3,421,000. I think I needed $3,405,000. I need a little bit more, then it's not the biggest thing in the world, but we're gonna go ahead. Go to Maze Bank Foreclosure. I wanna get this location. I want the Chumash location. It's cheap, but it's close to the city. I don't care about any of this. Okay, cool. There we go. These aren't the upgrades I wanna get. Why did someone send mercenaries after me? <laughs> what? Why? I don't know how this is gonna work. I just made it over to my new bunker. I have to sit through a long cutscene. So how does that affect the mercenaries? <laughs> That was a different guy, too. That wasn't the guy uh, that was originally coming after me, the comedian, but whatever. Yeah, I, I have to sit through this cutscene. Okay, cool. Um, I'm here. Uh, I don't know if mercenaries are still gonna come after me or not, but I gotta set this business up. I think once I do this, I can go ahead and purchase the final upgrades that I need, I think. Okay, yeah, we just need to click to set this thing up. Yeah, I don't, I don't care what Agent 14 has to say. Now, please let there be no mercenaries after me. I don't see any signs of anyone coming after me, which is a good thing. It's a great thing. So the final thing pretty much that we have to do today in this episode is go out to Adam's Apple Boulevard and go collect ourselves a dune loader and bring it back in. I think there's someone after me. Oh, it's that same comedian. Dude, dude. Wait, hold on. No, shoot. Uh, no, I, shoot. I was going to break check him so freaking hard. It wasn't going to be funny. So yeah, now the comedian's back after me. Well, he's really still back after me. There he is. <laughs> I was so close to being done for today. So close. Okay, here's a dune loader. Uh, hmm, what shall I do? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ghost. I've not done this in this series before. I have three minutes to go ghost. And I went a little different way just to kind of throw off the comedian. Yeah, I think I turned him around so he doesn't know where I'm at. He might also think that I'm in ghost organization trying to go after him. Obviously, that's not the case. All right, we just got off a of ghost, but that's... That was perfect timing because we have made it here. There we go. I think that's all we have to do today. All right, and there we go. This business has been fully set up. Uh, and I'm going to make a few modifications to this business, aka upgrade it a little bit more. Now, first things first, when we manage staff, since we're in bat sport, it probably would make some sense to assign staff to research, but no, we're not doing that because we want to make money and try to do a ha ha funny sell mission with this. I literally bought this business to attempt to sell the product off but the problem is i seriously doubt it's gonna work so yeah this is probably a terrible investment anyways we're gonna buy upgrades though we need to buy the equipment upgrade like so very nice we have six hundred and two thousand dollars left uh please get back in the seat so you can go ahead and make a purchase and then we're gonna go ahead and purchase a staff upgrade and we <laughs> woo, four thousand dollars to spare wow yeah now we're sitting on four thousand three hundred and ninety four dollars we're back to being broke again but hey we have another business uh but we're not gonna be making a a lot of money with this business anytime soon we're gonna stock this up we're gonna stock this up full and we're gonna try to sell this off in a public lobby when it's full it's probably not gonna go well but hey, that's something you can look forward to so yeah hit that subscribe button so you don't get to miss out on any of this awesome content of me raging over these idiots that are in this session i mean they need a king like me so yeah here i am king king of the bad sport you're welcome make sure you check out this video right here if you want to figure out how to actually survive in gta online